Bill their kitten and monkey have been loving the Waldo books. In fact, we've done all seven. We've got the board game from the seventh one. We play that. And I thought it'd be kind of fun to create a Waldo Brickhead. And I had a lot of fun designing this and kind of creating it. And something fun we've been doing is I've been actually hiding Waldo around the house randomly and build their kitten and monkey find it. And so it's kind of like a live action Waldo game. And um, I'm not sure when you're watching this, but I am filming this and we've been playing this game during the whole COVID-19 where we're all kind of staying at home as much as possible. So it's been a fun way to kind of pass the time. But I thought I would share how I created this Waldo Brickhead with you. For this Waldo character, I tried to keep it kind of simple um, because it's my first character uh, with hair. Um, but for the pants, he's got those blue pants. So I just gave him these light blue plates for the waist. And then I went um, the one by two by four plate around the bottom and then two one by two plates for his pants and then a one by two brown, dark reddish brown for his boots. And then for his shirt, that striped shirt, I made sure that I tried to look at the book to make it as close as possible. So I started with white, red, white, red, white, red, and then white for that top collar piece where it's his neck. And then for his arms to kind of create that stripe pattern, I did it the one by two plate in white and a one by two plate in red on the bottom. And then I put the one by two tile plate on top of the red and then his hand piece here to create that kind of stripe sleeve effect. For his face, for those of you who've never used the glasses before, what you do is use one by one plates for the eyes and then a one by two jumper plate to put the glasses on because there's like a little um, hole in the back here. And for his hair, I did a, combo, a combination of a few things. Uh, for the side here, you know, it's pretty simple. You've got the one by four plate, the two by two plate, and then you've got this kind of corner plate here at an angle. So you put it so that the two flat ends go here and it angles in the front. And I actually got this technique from Harry Potter. And now Waldo's got those three long strands of hair that kind of go to the side. And to create that effect, I used these little tile um, quarter circle or these pie pieces and just had them uh, curve to the inside of his head and then point out. And then I used a one by one tile piece in front just to kind of help illustrate that look, those big long bangs that he has. And for the back, we never really see the back of Waldo's head. So I just used the Go Brick Me, you know, simple set where you've got a four by four plate a two by four plate around the back, and then you've got these curved slopes on the back, just create nice and smooth, nothing too fancy. And now the hat, the hat's where, you know, you, you gotta get more creative, I think. And for that, I used t one t uh, four by four uh, round plate. First one is red because that's kind of a small little part of the hat, just kind of like the brim. And then I put another white one on top um, to create the, 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 the spiral pattern on his little sock hat there. And then it doesn't go to the straight point at top. It kind of curves to the side. And so to get that effect, I grab one of these slope pieces, these two by two slopes, and I put it on the center of his hat to make it look like it's kind of sloping up to the side. And then I even that out with a one by two plate to kind of make it um, flush here. And then on top of that one by two plate, I put a one by two jumper plate. And now, um, originally I actually had a tile piece here, but I didn't like it because it made it look too smooth and then go up. So I just kept the, the studs here. And then on top of that jumper plate to create the balls on, on top of his head, I got a one by one round plate and put a one by one round tile piece on top of it to create that ball effect on top. But this is my completed Waldo uh, to have some fun around the house. Ready to go! If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe or check out some of our other videos. Until next time, let's keep building together.